Hey there, it's Jen, and I'm happy to be bringing you another process video for Pink Paisley today. I thought I would try to do something fun and a little bit outside my box for today's video. I am making some cards, and I decided what I'm going to do is pick a limited selection of supplies and then set a timer and see how many cards I can make in that time. You know, I'm always in the need of a quick card and I'm usually making one last minute in a crunch, so I thought I would see how many I could just get done in 20 minutes today. And so I've just pulled out this box of pick-me-up cards, which make a nice base. And then I also have some card blanks. Uh, these are just white cards. And then I just have a few... Uh, I pulled out just some stickers from various things, and I'm just going to see, as I'm going through, you know, what kind of works for the card that I'm making. And so that's all I'm going to do is I have these supplies. I only have one um, one paper pack. So if I want to put any patterned paper on these, I will be using this paper pad or I'll be using these card blanks. So it's going to be interesting. So we'll set the timer for 20 minutes and I'll bring you along on the ride. So here we go. All right, so as you probably saw from the title of this video, um, this took me a little more than 20 minutes. I'm gonna pull out some cards here first to just go ahead and start making something with. And I'm just pulling out all the cards that I think I might use. I, actually, I think I pulled out one of every type. And I didn't realize that some of these had sentiments on them already. So this first card is going to be my quickest and it's only gonna, all I'm gonna do is just add that rainbow. And at first I think maybe that I'll add a puffy sticker or something else to it, but uh, in a minute here, I'm just gonna decide to add the rainbow and I think that's enough. I think the floral would have been cute added right on top there too, but I just decide against it for whatever reason. So think about the way that you can take things that are kind of pre-made and then just add a little something to them to make them your own. And seriously, you can have a wonderful card in just a minute. And even if I didn't put that rainbow on, it's still a cute card on its own. So, you know, it's all good. Okay, so that card's done. One card down. I sped this video up three times the speed, and so that's kind of what we're dealing with here. All right, so I thought that this floral was cute and that maybe I could add something on here to make it a birthday card or maybe a thank you card. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, I have a three by four piece of white cardstock that was sitting on my desk and I liked the way that this sticker from the Confetti Wishes collection matched the red in the background. And so I start with that and it says happy birthday and I'm like thinking to myself, what am I gonna do to fill all of this space? I don't know what I wanna do. And so I opened up my die cuts um, that are I have die cuts in these little bins. They're iris containers for photos. And I remember that in the Autumn or Auburn Lane collection, there were sequins. And so I grabbed some of the sequins out of there and I am going to make a little shaker card. And here's what I did. This was the fastest way to make a shaker card ever. I took some packaging that had three by four cards in it and I dumped some sequins inside of it. I closed the packaging on the back and I'm just going to glue that entire package to the front of the card. And that is the simplest shaker card ever. And it was fun and it was easy and you can tell it's packaging, but I think it still looks good and it's fun. So I would definitely try that. So I have the happy birthday on there and it's looking better now. Um, now these cards aren't ones that if I took my time and if I was going to put a lot of thought and effort into it, I may have done things a little bit differently. But you know what? This was about getting some cards made. The people I give them to, they won't know one way or another how long I spent on them. And so um, this, unless I give it to somebody who makes cards, but um, what I decided to do is go through the Confetti Wishes sticker book and just add some more sentiments. So I just chose out some of the pinks that would match this kind of color palette that I have going on. And I'm just going to sprinkle those down the left-hand side of the card and it will just be simple and sweet and it has a lot going on with those sequins so I think that really helps it. So here we are, I'm, I'm seeing if I can add anything else, but um, card two, we're pretty much done with card number two here and we're at five minutes into the video. So pretty good. So the next card I'm using a card I'm using a white card blank and then I'm just going to add some stickers to it. So I have these puffy stickers. They're the, the puffy stickers that are embossed, they're extra dimensional. And so I hadn't used any of them. So I thought I'd use the happy birthday and then there was a cake uh, that I thought fit right below it kind of nicely. 
from the regular puffy stickers. And so now I'm looking through the Confetti Wishes six by six paper pad and thinking I could add just a strip to the bottom. Let's make this really simple, but the cake needs like something to kind of ground it. So I just grabbed a punch and I'm gonna cut out some little, it's apron lace and this is a punch from Fiskars. And I'm just going to create a little layer that can sit below the cake. And I really like the way that looks. And so what I'll end up doing here in just a second is I'm going to cut another one so I can have two layers of that. And I thought about adding the extra piece on the top and I thought that might be cute. Uh, I'll decide against it. But at this moment in time, I'm kind of thinking, what can I, I'm, I'm gonna punch this darker color. It's the same pattern paper. It goes, it fades from dark to light. So I'm just punching a darker piece of the paper and I'm going to see how that looks when I add it. Now this ends up being just the slightest bit too short for this card, but I don't care, I'm gonna add it anyway, and then I'm just gonna cut the card down just slightly. So, you know, make it work for you. It's okay if it's not exactly four and a quarter by five and a half. So I just cut a little bit off with my guillotine trimmer there, that's from We Are Memory Keepers. And there is that card. Now, just to give it a little something extra, I'm going to sprinkle spray mist in a few different colors. And when I do this, I kind of feel like it looks like confetti. And so I thought that was very fitting for this birthday card. And so I sprinkled it in a few different colors there. And I really like the way that turned out. And that's going to complete card number three, guys. Okay, moving on to card number four here. Um, I've zoomed out a little bit but I'm gonna zoom back in. I had to, I'm not used to zooming in for my for my videos because I usually make layouts and I need to see the whole thing. Um, but with the cards, I wanted to zoom in just a little bit so you could get a closer look. And also I think the lighting's better when that black is my main background. So um, I'm just using some Distress Ink and putting it on some packaging and laying down some color onto this piece of cardstock. Uh, and I'm just going to let that dry. I used, I'll link to the, the colors I use below, but I made the background and then I set it aside and now I'm going to work on this card and I'm sorry I'm not fully in frame. Like I mentioned, I'm not used to working on this zoomed in, but I'm gonna have to get used to it because I've been making a lot more cards lately. See, look at the color there, it looks so much better. Okay, so I just found a chipboard sticker that says see the good. I added the little matching um, lemon puffy sticker. I'm using a little black pen to outline it and then I'm just adding some little dots with my black pen and I really like that and that's pretty much all this layout's going to have. So just a few things and it can be simple. It's fine if it's simple and sometimes simple actually looks better too. So there's another card done. So now I'm going to move on. At this point I think that my my timer is almost out. I'm waiting for this this uh, background that I created to dry. And I pulled out my heat tool. I'm going to heat that up. And um, as I'm heating it up, I'm kind of multitasking here. I'm trying to figure out what I can use for my next card while I'm drying that. <laughs> and so just trying to do multiple things at once. Now here's a good thing for you to try. I had this cut file left over from another layout I was creating. I always keep stuff like this so I can use them for another project. And so even though this card ends up looking elaborate and interesting, it really took me only seconds to make because I had that cut file already. So basically what I'm gonna do is just glue this cut file down to the front of the card. I'll trim off the edges and I'm just going to add a simple sentiment and it ends up being really, really easy to create. So. Uh, you know, when you're cutting stuff, cut stuff in bulk and maybe save some of those pieces for future projects so that when you are um, making stuff, you can just grab for it and it's already done for you. You don't have to think too hard. You don't have to try too hard. Uh, and sometimes that's what gets it done, right? So after I trimmed off the excess, I'm just gluing, making sure all of the ends are glued down because they're kind of left flapping and open and I don't want them to snag on anything. And so uh, that's where my timer went off and I wasn't quite done with this card and I wanted to finish it. So I just, I turned off the timer and I'm just gonna go ahead and let myself keep creating because I'm nearly done. And I'm thinking at first that I wanna use that butterfly and maybe a puffy sticker for my sentiment, but um, I'm gonna find something else that works just a little bit better. So I have this little sticker that says birthday, again from the Confetti Wishes sticker book and I'm putting it up, up on foam squares and I'm just going to add that and then I'm gonna find a little piece that says happy. 
and that's just going to be all that I have. This has a little banner edge, and so I thought it would be cute if I poked it out from the side, but I want to move the word birthday over a little bit in order to do that so it has enough room uh, to have that little flag there. And then at this point, I kind of decided that I wanted some sequins on here as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add a few sequins. And then this card is done. And then the background that I created, you'll see in a minute, I'm going to come back here and talk to you real time. Um, I did finish that card as well. Very, very simply. Um, I'm also adding gold color shine to this and then I'm done. All right guys, so that was just a slight fail at 20 minutes. It was more like 30 if I'm being honest with myself, but I did finish, um, well, you saw me, I finished this one right after the camera turned off and then I just used this background that I made and threw on one of the little two by two squares onto it to make a really simple card. And actually this might be my favorite one. Well, my second favorite, this one's my favorite. So I made six cards in about 30 minutes. That's not too bad and that means two cards every 10 minutes, guys. That's a lot. Five minutes a card, right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, <laughs> I can do math. And I made a shaker card. I made an intricate cut file card because I already had the cut file made just sitting on my desk waiting for a project. I have another like little die cut sitting here that I could use on another project sometimes. So I keep things like that that I've cut out and not used on my desk. And those are great for throwing on cards. Um, a quick background with some distress ink and then just throwing on a simple sentiment. I love this card. And then this one, just a couple of stickers, some splatter to make it look like confetti. Um, this one is just really a couple of stickers. The background is, you know, most of what you see on the card. And this one, I only added a rainbow and I just thought that one was cute too. So these are so super simple. I hope that you can see ways that you can make really quick and simple cards yourself. And you can check out more and close-ups of all of these cards over on the Pink Paisley blog. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you again very soon.